everyone, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo update video. This time we're talking about the aquatic pack that has just been announced today and is going to be released on December 8th. This is exciting news for all of us. We all saw it coming according to the update 1.4 that we previously saw that I just uploaded yesterday. So if you guys want to check that out, we're not going to be talking about update 1.4, but if you'd like to catch up, we do have a link in the description below for you. Be sure to check that out on everything that you missed so far. However, this video is going to be relatively shorter because we're basically just going over three new things that we've just learned today. So the first big thing, obviously, are the new animals that are coming with the aquatic pack. So that includes the king penguin, the giant otter, the gray seal, the dwarf kaiman, and the exhibit-based animal, the diamondback terrapin. So we have four habitat animals and one exhibit animal, which has been the norm for most of these packs, except for the Arctic pack, which is the only one that didn't deliver an exhibit animal. And along with that, you're giving plenty more scenery items, and you will obviously have underwater enrichment items along with feeders, as seen in update 1.4. They only confirmed the underwater feeder, but in our last video, we did spot some underwater enrichment items and other items that have been in the water scenery. And then last but not least, you're gonna be given another scenario challenge, which includes a trip to Oregon in the United States of America. Now I wanna go ahead and review this video. I just wanna take a look at things that we may have not been told about in the video, so let's get started on that. So first off, we are starting here right at the beginning of the first frame where we see this enrichment item where the penguin will actually come out, which is pretty neat. And obviously you have all this awesome rock structures around this area. And if you look further toward the back, you do have that 3D lettering that we were told about in update 1.4, which should look pretty awesome. And then over here, we do have this overall view of the park, which is pretty awesome. There's a few things to point out right here. First off, if you look toward the right, we do have some new foliage, and if you look toward the middle, past the middle building, you will also find these fern-like trees, I guess. I'm not an expert in the field of nature of any sort, but uh, that appears to look new. And if you look towards the back right, it looks like there's some sort of wooden platforms, which may also be some sort of enrichment item for maybe your penguins or a different type of animal. Other than that, in this photo, I don't really see too much else except for just a whole lot of foliage and a few little different building pieces that you can really put together to make your buildings look like the ones here in this photo. And then we come by, you can see the otters in the bottom left corner, otter statues as well, which are pretty cool. Once again, you see that 3D lettering, but you can take a look in the bottom left hand corner where you see new benches and a new type of trash can. And other than that, just a whole lot of cool things you can start doing now with this pack. I do have to say that there are not as many things you can use in terms of scenery pieces, considering we're getting around 170 pieces is what Planet Zoo said. So that is a little bit less than we typically get for a typical Planet Zoo pack. However, we do have new mechanics coming in, which allows you to have aqua animals, which is perfect. So this pack should be relatively balanced compared with the others. So for me, I'm gonna be purchasing this, using it to my own use in my own zoos. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up as it does help support out the channel. Any comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. If I did miss something, I'd like to hear from you guys. Other than that, ready to play this on December 8th, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.